In this video, we're going to focus on drawing curved shapes in Canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with where we left off in the previous video. We had this shape here. The only thing what I will do is this shape is I'm going to convert it back into a lined shape so it will have stroke lines. So I'm going to say here, stroke for the lines. And of course, here the fill style will be converted back to stroke style. Save this, refresh, there we are. So what I want to do here now is because we have already discussed about the uh, Bezier curve, we could create here basically a more wavy effect. And what I want to do here is like a curve line going first to the left and then after to the right and do here exactly the same. And this is a very good exercise because it's a quite tricky one. So let's start to work on that. So the first thing what we need to do here is, well, we could basically adjust this. So if you want to keep it, just duplicate that. Doesn't matter. We already have it duplicated here. So let's start and work on it. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to just delete everything here and then look what we're going to work on. So the first thing what we need to do here is to figure out where is the starting point of the Bezier curve. And that will be here to here. So this point here, here this is, if I'm not mistaken, it should be 370 pixels. And then this line here would be the line where, which one is the straight. So that will mean that we can start just there. So what I want to do here, the first one I'm going to say is CTX and then Bezier curve and then Bezier curve 2, make sure capital T and capital C. So remember in the Bezier curve, we have basically a few values. Well, the first one is, of course, the control point. So I just call it CP1 or CPX1. Then we have CPY1. Then we have CP. Uh, X number two, which is control point number two, and then control point Y number two. And finally, we have the end X and the end Y. So in this case, the end X and end Y would be basically the ending point, which would be this one here. This line here, that's a straight line here. But now in this case, the ending point would define this point here. We want to go here. And that's the ending point. So let's copy this and just put that in there. So that's the first item. However, what about the others here now? So let's start to, I'll just uh, copy that, put it in here, and just put this in here. And then we're going to start breaking down how are we going to do this. So the first thing what I want to do here is, of course, to figure out what are we going to do. So if you're going down here, then we want to have, we need to have two control points. So we need to know approximately what is the height here and when we would like to activate these control points. So you can see here the height is based on this 330 by 400 indicating that there is a 70 pixel difference. So to make it simple I would say well 70 divided by 2 would be uh, uh, what is that 35 but we need to have two control points so we need to divide it by 3. To make it very simple we would just say here, well, 75, oh, well, 25, I guess. That would be fine. So 25 for 25 here, and then another 25, put it here, and then the remaining would be a space, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe even uh, 20. I, I would suggest 20 because we have some space here, then a point here, space, point, and, and then we have another one. So that would mean here we have space, one point, space, one point, that, I guess 25, uh, it would be fine, sorry about that. So that would mean 70 by, 75 divided by 3 is 25 approximately, although we have a 70, so that's fine. So what we're going to do here is, we need to know that, so let me recap. We know the ending point is 400 in height, minus 330, we'll approximately get 70, and then what I will say here then, divide this by 3, we'll make it just 25 approx, divide by 3, will be approximately 25 pixels. So that's a very acceptable value. So that would mean for every control point, 25 pixels down. So that would mean here, the first one, 330, will be 330 plus 25, will be 355. So that's on the Y, so 355. So this one would be then 355, 
25 will be and that is in 380 so then we have this one all right so we have those what i want next is of course this here and sorry i realized that i'm putting it on the x value i don't want that i want this on the y value so this is 380 there we are so the next one is how many pixels so if i want to make it wavy and i want to or wavy or curve i want to go first to the left and after that i want to curve back to the right and then curve it back to the original position so to do that going to the left immediately i need to deduct the value from here so we have 370 and what we can do here to make the curve not too intense i would say here minus 20 pixels will be 350. so once we do this you can put 350 here so then we have that and then what i want to do, go back here to 370 and here somewhere we do plus 20 pixels so this will be 370 i guess so from three oh sorry from 370 so basically here original state is 370 and then plus 20 pixels is 390 pixels so let's put that one in there so if i save this and refresh you can see here now we get this nice curviness or curved line so the next thing what i want to do is i want to do it exactly in the, on the side as well so we have both shaped equally and this is a more tricky one because now let's copy this and we're going to go in here this line here would be from three if i look at this uh go to 400 so basically this is this line here the bottom and then here this is bottom line bottom line and this one here need to be common out and this will be converted into a bezier curve so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to copy everything but of course i'm going to blank out all of these values so what we have well the first thing what we do now is this is what we call the bottom line all right so what is then the ending point and i realized i just comment out this one as well so don't do that or else we will have no line uh, regarding to this point because we only need to adjust this here so what we know here our ending point is eventually uh, this position or not even sorry it's this position here that's our ending point so what i can do here is i would just put in here some space and then we put in this here and this will be cp x number two cp y number two and here uh oh sorry this is again the same but then from the other side of course cp x number two and then cp or control point y number two all right so from now on we have to think from this point on and then we have to go here and here so this is a very tricky one because basically what we did here we need to do here the opposite because we're going to first go to the very right here so how we can do this well let's look we're going to check here now and then what i want to do here is the cp1 and the cp1 to make it consistent we have to look here at cp2 as we did here plus 25 pixels and then here also plus uh 20 sorry 25 here and plus 20 here so what we need to do here well let's go first to the right side and to the right was 20 pixels so the cp1 and then our starting point of course is this point here so we need to get this starting point and then we say here plus 20 this would indicate that this will be 450 all right put it in there so then we have the cpy and the cpy is tricky because where are we exactly going to put the movement well it should be identical to this point here the cpy here if i'm not mistaken this should be 380. so we're going to do here we have this 380 we're going to put it here which is basically we say a 380 and then we're going to deduct what are we deducting here well remember our item was uh, let's see 400 so we need to deduct here 20 and the reason why we do here 20 is because this was i rounded up and this is why it becomes like that so i round it up remember because if you look at it 70 divided by 3 is not 25 so i took 25 to make it easy but now that of course created a challenge for us so i'm going to remove all of this here 
but that's all right. So now we have this item here. So we just grab this. That will be uh, 380. Am I correct? That's 380. That's sorry. 400 minus 20 is 380. All right. So that will mean just only 20 pixels up and then to the right. So now we have that. The next one is the control point number two on the y on the x level. So that will mean that we have to go now here and move here. So to do this, what we're going to do here is exactly the same. But then we'll have to, what we have to get here is, well, let's uh, think how we're going to get it. So we have to go here up. We did this, and then we need to go to the left. Let's look how many pixels are we going to the left here is 20 pixels. 20 pixels should be on what position? Well, we are on, let me double check. This is the starting point here. So that's our starting point. And then we need to do here minus 20. Minus 20 equals 410. All right, so we grab this, we put that in there. And then the next one, which is the final one, and this is a quite tricky one as well, is we need to calculate now uh, the 25, what we did here. And we might need to modify a bit, a bit, but we have to check. So we have here the height of 400. And what we did was, first of all, we have to minus 20. So that's 380 was, is the item. And then here, we have to, again, minus. And in this case, we should do minus 25. When I do that, we should have here will be 355. And in this case, this is correct because it's the same height here. So basically, we could just grab this and put it in there. And if I save that, let's refresh. Oh, then you can see here I'm getting a complete mistake. And so I need to double check what, what did I do wrong here. All right. So there was an unexpected one. So that would mean that there is something wrong here. <laughs> so what we have to do here is we have this. All right. So we have to check what is this here. This item is most likely the issue. So what I need to check here is, all right, so I figured out here why we need to go here to this line. And what happened is I said that we have to go to the left at the ending point. The left would be this point. And that's not true. Why is that not true? Sorry about that. Our ending is this one. So that should be our official ending here. So we're going to grab this, save that. All right, so now we have something here and then of course 400 so what we need to do is we need to go back to the height of this one here so my mistake here as well what is the official one i guess this should be it i get this save that there we are so now we have that one here and then we have this line two from 340 to 330 so i'm wondering what is this line for or can we just remove that one then there we are so if we delete all of this Let's keep that in there. We have this line too, which would only calculate this one then from here and then here we'll close the path. That's it. So as you can see, this is a quite tricky one. And even for me, this is quite tricky. But what we're really doing here, this is the practice, is can you envision based on numbers how the picture will look like? And that's basically what we're testing here and practicing. Can we envision it? As you can envision, if you get more uh, familiar with it, you will get used to this and you will see eventually how these numbers and you can com you can convert numbers into a position with x and y coordinates that you can imagine so this is the real trick of it however this is a good exercise as well and you can see here with this we can use the bezier of a, a bezier curve here together with standard lines